Hello, this is your unofficial IT guy here. Today we've got a new segment called the Vinyl Bin. This is where we take a look at new vinyl releases as well as some older ones. So today we're actually going to be taking a look at How to Destroy Angels, a supergroup that was formed in 2010. It features Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails, Mary Queen Monding from West Indian Girl, as well as Atticus Ross and Rob Sheridan. We're going to be focusing on their November release and Omen. So that's some nice kind of static and kind of like distorted video effect for the main album artwork. One of the first things that I kind of noticed was this little guy fell out. And this, they actually give you a digital copy of it as well as you know, your hard copy that you got. So you can listen to it on your iPod, your iPhone, as well as, you know, a standard MP3 player. And it's DRM free. Inside, instead of a traditional kind of plain white dust jacket for the vinyl, they actually have more album artwork here, showing kind of distorted pictures of the band members, as well as kind of the track listing and credits on the inside. So it's 180 gram vinyl, very nice quality. Let's take a listen. first track, Keep It Together, leads off side a solid follow-up for a single from their previous release, uh, The Spaces In Between. It has kind of a bit lighter with the lyrics, uh, very nice kind of background music in there, and Trent adds a bit more kind of vocal presence in this as well. The second track, Ice Age, is lyrically beautiful. Uh, Marroquin just nails it in the seven minute track. It has a lot of acoustic elements to it, and it's probably one of their finer mo uh, moments, and unlike anything else that kind of Nine Inch Nails fans would kind of expect or have heard kind of previously from Trent and his crew. The final track on the first side is On the Wing, the vibe that I'm getting off of this. Nine Inch Nails Atticus Ross with elements of the Postal Service. Let's flip it over, take another listen. The B-side, however, feels like the tracks could have easily fallen off of Nine Inch Nails' the Ghost, possibly a B-side from The Slip. The first track is a full instrumental. It has some kind of chanting in the background, but no actual lyrics to it. The Sleep of Reason produces monsters. This track is then followed up with kind of a lyrically redundant song, The Loop Closes. It's then kind of rounded off with a somewhat disturbing song, uh, speaking in tongues, which has the vocals layered below a lot of kind of the instrumental and kind of industrial sounds. So this has been the vinyl bin. Overall, this is a decent release. I'd give it a solid B. Just, I think the main thing would be that if it was a full album, these instrumental tracks would fit in a lot better. On an EP release, it's kind of splitting it 50-50 down the middle between tracks that I really love, and tracks that are okay if they were come up on my shuffle on my iPod. This is your unofficial IT guy. Thanks for watching.